Hello and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 ID4 Pro SK Innovations battery 10 to 80 percent charging curve. This is a video that I've been waiting a long time to bring to you all and I'm super excited to share with you what I found out. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, everybody, just like I said, we're gonna be checking out the 2023 ID4 charging curve. So this is different than um, most of the charging curves that are out there because the 2023 ID4 built in Chattanooga comes with a new battery uh, made by SK Innovations with a different battery chemistry. And what's really great about this is it has increased the, uh, the top charging speed of the ID4 and you all are gonna get to see this uh, in a second. Before we get to that, I just want to remind everyone to please give a like and a subscribe. Please remember to hit the notification bell. That way, whenever any new content or specifically ID4 content comes out, um, you know when it's there and you can check it out and uh, get any information that I'm trying to um, provide to you all. So again, that helps a lot, helps grow the channel. And uh, we just got the ID4, so hoping to bring a bunch of content there. And not this summer, but the following summer, um, the Kona is going to go away and we're going to get another EV, um, one that hopefully people are looking to buy that I can um, give a full in-depth living review of. So again, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. So let's dig into this charging curve. Um, it started just before 10%, so it was about 160, then got up to 177. Now we're seeing 180, and it's eventually going to walk its way up to the max charging speed, um, which in this session was 192 kilowatts. On the right hand side, I've included the OBD uh, information for the ID4, and you'll see a discrepancy between the, the um, battery power and what's on the dispenser, and that's just because there are some losses, and also the higher the charging rate, the greater the loss. And I calculated about a 2% loss, um, probably because of cable cooling or something like that. So nothing too crazy. It's uh, you know, but a really uh, great improvement from where the charging curve on earlier ID models was. I'd like to take this moment just to talk about how flat the charging curve is. It's it's real nice slow descent down. That way you're getting pretty good speeds um, over a long period of time, thusly improving the um, charge time and you know decreasing the amount of time you'll spend at a charger. So I cannot complain about the charging curve on the ID4, especially with the um, higher uh, charge speeds at the beginning, which makes um, doing road tripping a lot easier. Now. We're about to come up on the 50% mark, uh, which I think is a really important mark uh, to pay attention to. Whenever I road trip, I like to stick around to charging up to the 50 or 60%. So um, I would recommend that to you all, but you all are more than entitled to do whatever you would like to do. So here we are hitting the 50% mark. It took about 13 minutes to arrive there and we added 110 miles to the battery. So that's from 10% to 50%, we added 110 miles and that's based on the EPA rate of 275 miles. The average charging speed to get to 50% was 149 kilowatts, which is awesome. So again, that's just an average at every uh, percentage 10, 11, 12, and it was 149 kilowatts, which is great. It's actually, um, as far as electric SUVs go, it's almost class leading. Uh, it We cannot include the 800 volt architecture like um, uh, Ionic 5 and EV6, but it, it is, it's a pretty good um, average for it. So here we've got 18 minutes to 60%, 137 miles added, and that is based on the EPA estimate. I would probably not charge over 60% if I'm on a road trip um, because 18 minutes, that's enough to plug in, go do something, come back, and then leave, uh, which is really a great, um, you know, 
That's awesome. It makes this, like I said, a viable road tripper. And I wanted to go back to some of those EVs that this one, that the ID4 kind of competes with. This charges faster to 50% than the Mach-E, and it's cheaper than the Mach-E. Um, I do believe actually Ford just announced some price reduction to the Mach-E, but it's still a great affordable option and uh, for the um, charge speed offered. Now, the Model Y is faster to 50%, but to 80%, the ID4, and we'll see the 80% in a little bit, the ID4 and Model Y are actually almost exactly the same as far as average charging speed. So if you wanna charge faster um, to 50%, Model Y is what you want. It's gonna be a much, much faster road tripper. Um, but for, uh, uh, if you're gonna charge up to 80% or whatever, the ID4 is just the same, which is really, really, really nice. All right, now we're com coming up on the ever so important 80% and it took 29 minutes in this charging session, uh, which is great. Uh, and that added 192 miles of range to the battery based on the EPA estimate. And uh, from 10 to 80%, it was a 124 kilowatt charging average, which is great. And like I said, that puts it on par with the, um, the, Tesla Model Y and better than most of its competitors. All right, everybody. So here we have the infamous charging curve. And this one happens to be for what we just saw, the 2023 Volkswagen ID4. Um, and these are the Chattanooga built ones with the SK Innovations battery. There are some 2023 ID4s and beyond that are gonna have LG Chem batteries, and those are going to have a different charging curve that is a little bit slower. Not by much, but by enough where, depending upon if you like the road trip or not, it might um, you know change your mind. So again, as you look, we have this, we had that big peak at the beginning up to um, about 192 in the charger, but like I saw 170, 187 in uh, the OBD and then it just slowly walks down. It is a pretty big walk down, but once you get to about like, you know, 50%, it's just hundred and slowly walks down and then rides at about 88, 89, 90, all the way to 80%, which is really, really, really good. Um, this is a great charging curve. There's a bunch of ways you can look at this for as far as your travels are concerned. If you're someone who wants the road trip, I'm going to road trip. I'm actually going to be taking this out to Austin, Texas uh, in early April. Uh, so that's going to be awesome. And what I'm planning on doing is charging up to 100 my first time. And then uh, once I um, uh, discharge my battery, I'm going to charge up to 50% or thereabouts and then move on to the next charger and it's going to take me about 13 minutes each charge stop which is going to be enough for me to get out plug in go use the restroom grab a snack come back and get back on my way and have about another 110 to 130 miles that i can uh travel until the next charger which is going to be great um so that's if you want a road trip with it if you're someone you just want to you know you live somewhere you don't drive a lot you just want to charge up with it then it'd probably be good for you to just discharge it um, to whatever, plug it in. You're probably gonna get uh, around, you know, 100, like if you go in at like 40, uh, you know, 40% state of charge, something like that, you'll get like 100 kilowatts, you'll charge it up, it'll take you whatever that was, 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes to charge up and then you, you can be on your way. So again, this is just a, a, a really great charging curve, a passable road tripper. Obviously nothing of the likes of the Taycan or the Ionic 5 or anything like that, but I think it's a really great family car and I think this improved charging curve just makes the ID4 an even better sell. So, you know, if you're looking at like a new EV or want to upgrade or whatever, and you're going between the ID4 and maybe something like the Kia Niro EV or something that, like that, price wise, it might just make more sense to go with the ID4. It's a nice German built car, got lots of great features, and the charging curve is twice as fast, if not faster, than. Um, the Kia Niro. Um, and again, the ID4 charging curve is better than most SUVs that are uh, 400 volt based. Uh, and I just think it's probably the way to go for most people. So yeah, that's just kind of what I have to say about the charging curve. If anybody has any other questions about that, I didn't want to talk too much, drop it down in the comments below and I can answer. I'm very responsive and love engaging with all of you all in conversation. Um, 
and uh, another thing too, I'd love for people to um, share in the comments, what charging have you seen on your ID4, preferably 2023 ID4? Drop that down in the, in the comments. Leave, you know, what percent of charges are at, ended at, your top charging speed and how long it took. And that should be a really awesome resource for anybody who's kind of looking at um, getting an ID4 and wants to know what the charging's like. Uh, so yeah, let's be a community and kind of include those things. All right, everybody, so that is the charging curve for the 2023 ID4 with the SK Innovations battery pack. Super pleased with it. I was uh, I was thinking it was gonna um, act that way and it did and I'm super pleased. It's actually um, almost the exact same charging curve as the ID Buzz. If any of you have followed the ID Buzz that's um, over in Europe now, it's gonna make its way to um, the US soon. It's almost the exact same charging curve, which is awesome. So. Again, thanks for uh, watching. Please give a like, please give a subscribe, and please turn on that notification bell as I bring more and more awesome ID4 content to you all and other charging curves for vehicles as well. Again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.